In our next problem, we're going to be asked to construct a Venn diagram. Here it is. Construct a Venn diagram illustrating the following sets. We have set A, 1, 4, 5, set B, 1, 5, 6, 7, and U equal to the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have the same sets listed at the top of this page. Notice that we can then designate our universal set as the rectangle. We can call set A the circle to the left, set B the circle to the right. Now we're going to begin by first trying to figure out where to put the elements of A. But you can see that if we try to list the elements 1, 4, 5, we have two regions that we'd have to separate them into. We'd have the same problem with set B. What we need to begin with is figuring out where the intersection of these two sets would be. So to look for the intersection, we're looking for elements which are part of both sets. That will go into this middle region. Well, we notice that both sets contain the element 1, so we'll put that in the intersection. Both sets do not contain 4, and both sets do contain 5, so 1 and 5 will be in the intersection of the two sets. Now we can fill in the rest of set A. We need to have 1, 4, 5. We already have 1 and 5, so 4 must be in the region that is not part of the intersection. For set B, we need 1, 5, 6, 7. We already have 1, 5, 6, 7 will be in this section of set B, which is not part of the intersection. We now have one more region to fill in for. This is considered region 1. This is considered region 2. Here's region 3. Region 4 will be all of the elements that are part of the universal set, but are not already included in the union of A or B, A and B. So we're going to have 1 already included. We have 2 that needs to be here. 3 is not already in our list, so we'll need to include that. We have 4, 5, 6, and 7 already included. And so we've completed the Venn diagram.